In this video, we are going to talk about application.yml and bootstrap.yml. We will see what exactly the difference is between application.yml and bootstrap.yml and we will see when to use what. So let's get started. In a Spring Boot application, both application.yml and bootstrap.yml are used for configuration purposes. But they serve the different roles and are loaded at the different phases of the application context initialization. So first we will talk about the application.yml purpose. Primary configuration file for Spring Boot application used for the application level setting. So in the application.yml we can place the configurations or properties which we need at the application level. Like suppose we want the database configuration or we want to place the server.port or anything which we need for the application level or the properties which we want to call by using the value annotation. So those kind of property we place in the application.yml. Okay. So now is the loading phase. So application.yml is loaded during the application context initialization phase. Configurations are applied after the bootstrap.yml configuration. So the application.yml is loaded after the application context initialization phase or we can say after the application context is initialized then the application.yml or the application.properties files are loaded and the typical use cases so application.properties or application.yml can be used like we can place the database configuration or the security configuration or application specific properties like the you know the database thing or the Kafka things or all those things which we need at the application level that properties we can place in the application.yml okay so this is an example of the application.yml here if you see we have defined the port number and the database things and uh, like suppose we can even place the uh, you know the Kafka things or the properties which we want to read by using the value annotation so all these kind of application level settings or the properties we can place in the application.yml so now we will talk about the bootstrap.yml purpose bootstrap.yml is used for configuration properties that need to be loaded very early in the application bootstrap phase okay so in the bootstrap.yml we place the properties which we want to load at the time of the bootstrap phase or before the application context initialization okay so in the bootstrap.yml we place the properties such as the name of the application or we want to place uh, we want to keep the eureka if we are using the on which port or on which uh, you know the url our eureka is there and if suppose we are using the config server then uh, our config server application is running on which url so all kind of a things we can place in the bootstrap.yml because all these things we need before the application context initialization okay so now the loading phase as we have talked about so this will be loaded before the application context okay and uh, configurations and even the configuration.yml can influence which application.yml file should get loaded suppose we have a different application.yml like application hyphen dev application hyphen qa or application hyphen pro so which out of this environment we want to load or out which out of this application.yml file we want to load that kind of a configuration we can place in the bootstrap.yml okay. so typical use cases so as we said like we can place the uh, url of eureka it can be these kind of a things we can place or the config uh, server things we want to place the url and which application.yml file we want to load so these all these kind of a things we can place in the bootstrap.yml so this is basically the typical use cases of the bootstrap.yml so here is an example it is similar to that of the application.yml but uh, here we place the different properties like the name of the application or you know config cloud config i mean the config server thing or the eureka thing these kind of a things we can place in the bootstrap.yml so this is all about this video if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel thank you